Welcome to the show, Helena. Hi, Bradley. Now then, you're from Devon? Yeah. And you've just graduated as a language student, is that I'm correct? just in my final year at the moment, yeah, so I'm due to graduate soon. Good. I do German and Chinese, so I was lucky enough to spend time in both those countries. Would you be able to say, um, welcome to the chase, I hope I win lots of money? Go on. Huan Ying Zai, the chase. Um, 我希望我该很多的钱. I think that's bad. <laughs> I love that. I love it when people speak different languages and, they, and it's not their native language. I just think that's tremendous. I really do. And if you won some money today, what would you do with it? I would love to take my family to Heston Blumenthal's to the Fat Duck. Right. My parents are always spoiling me and it'd be lovely to be able to spoil them for a little bit as well. Let's see what we can do. I wish you well, Helena. Good luck. Your time starts now. Cricketer Thomas Lord gives his name to what famous sporting venue? Lords. Correct. What snooker accessory sounds like a letter of the alphabet? Q. Correct. Home Comforts is a daytime TV show presented by which Yorkshire chef? Pass. James Martin. Henry VIII was buried at Windsor Castle with which of his six wives? Um, Jane Seymour. Correct. The Handley Page Halifax was used by which of the armed forces in World War II? The Army. RAF. For which film producer did Roald Dahl write the 1943 book Gremlins? Pass. Walt Disney. In 1999, which illusionist was buried in a box in New York for seven days? Um, David Blaine. Correct. What French city is thought to have been named after the Greek goddess Nike? Nice. Correct. Ronald Noble, the Secretary General of what international police organisation? Uh, I don't know. Interpol. What colour was the famous safety pin dress worn by Liz Hurley? Silver. Black. In the Bible, which wife of Abraham? No time to get there for you, Helena. I've got to say... You're a very good player. You got £5,000, but those five questions you got were the ones people would normally pass on. <laughs> you missed out on stuff like Liz Hurley's dress and all that. I've never seen it. So I know, <laughs> but what I'm saying is it's, that's more of a modern culture thing, where, for your age, you haven't done any of that. You've gone straight down the cerebral question route. I love it. Ready? Yeah. It's time to face the chaser. 